everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today we are going to be sharing the mini book I made using the freshly baked paper. It was going to be process share and share of layouts, but I had some technical difficulties. We were trying to do some alterations with my microphone and didn't get it plugged in real well. So I am not good at talking over videos and I am going to have to just share with you this completed adorable, absolutely adorable mini book. But my granddaughter is here and wants to say hi. So let's let her say hi real quick. Hello. Okay, night sweetheart. I will see you in a little bit, okay? And get your midnight snack. <laughs> They started or implemented a midnight snack at, I believe it was eight o'clock <laughs> is when they do it. I tend to let her stay up a little later. So it's a little closer to midnight than they usually like. But like I said, we had some technical difficulties today. So let me put away my circles. And I'm going to pull out this, this mini book that I did today. Isn't that cute? Okay, so this is using the Frank Garcia Memory Hardware Square Mini Book by Prima. It is six and a half by six and a half, ideal for six by six papers. So I did keep this so that we would have this to share. So the mini book pages are all six by six pattern paper and six and a quarter by six and a quarter for the solids with the cardstock. So I used Scarlet on this one, and then this adorable mix-in paper with the little hearts going all the way down. It's so cute. I did use the, um, what's this called? <laughs> it's called something. It's this little die here from the stamp set for the freshly baked scrapbooking. So I've just used this piece. I didn't use any of the stamps, but I do have the dies, of course. But I thought this was really cute and I did it in silver. And then I've got some little enamel dots and I fussy cut it around a couple of the cookies. And then I've got this oven mitt and spatula. The baking memories is a little nod to the catalog. And let me show you. I liked this wreath that they did, and I liked how they did the baking on this banner piece with the flagged ends. So I decided I would copy that as a little nod to the catalog. And I believe it was Erin who did that because it looks like her niece is in the pictures. So that is the cover. And then the spine over here, I fussy cut a few more of the cookie stickers. And on the back, Oh, and this is one and three quarters by six and one and a half by six for the pattern paper. And then we've got the six and a fourth by six and a fourth for the scarlet. That was a tongue twister for my brain. And then um, the pattern paper is six by six. I did cut a little strip of scarlet here in dark. All the, the scarlet is dark. And then I fussy cut around this. It's not the holidays without cookies. I thought that sticker was appropriate. Okay, page one, we've got that polka dot paper. Isn't it adorable? And then I've got picture my life card that I cut down here. This is another picture my life card that I cut to one inch and I tore it. And then we've got some stickers, some are popped, some are partially popped. And then some of the little enamel dots, the freshly baked, I believe is what they're called. Yep, freshly baked enamel dots. So I did use some of those. And then um, this one is in red, so scarlet. And my thoughts were to kind of go in a pattern. So I did scarlet, toffee, and then um, seabrook. Scarlet, toffee, seabrook, and then scarlet is the end. And then the cover is with the scarlet. So that is why um, that this is the way it is. It's because I went paper after paper. So we'll go on to the next one. Oh, and this says Santa, the cookies are, are for you. The carrots are for the reindeer. This was a picture of my life card, and I did fussy cut around that as well. The next page I think is my favorite. It's this little, um, uh, what are these, chocolate chip cookies. And then I love this little zip strip here. It is from the mix-in paper. This has got the toffee dark base with toffee 
photo mats. And then I put some little twine on here that just that thin, more of a thread. I was going to add it into more, but I wasn't feeling it on the other pages, but it just felt so right on this page. So I did tie two little bows here. The milk is flat where the cookies pop. This cookie is popped. These cookies are flat. I did not fussy cut around these. So Sweet is a sticker from the sticker sheet. I have used almost all of the stickers. Let me grab that sticker sheet so I can show you how many I have used. It is pretty empty. I was going to use this someplace, but I haven't felt where I haven't felt it fit into where I wanted to use it. So we'll just see. Living the sweet life, I'm going to save for something else. And then I've got just a few shapes, a little recipe card, and some of these words. Okay, the next one would be in Seabrook. And I went with the grid pattern paper, and then I added some of the dots. It was it was really cute without the dots, but I thought the dots just added quite a bit more to it. I love those dots. Um, Yummy Cookies is a zip strip piece. And then we've got four three by three photo mats. The little cookies right here. I did not fussy cut around the cookie jar, but I did fussy cut around the cookies. And then we've got um, some of the Seabrook and there we've got glitter little hearts. I thought that brought this out really nicely. The next page is Scarlet. And then we've got another piece of the mix-in paper. And then Picture My Life cards. These are all Picture My Life cards. I have trimmed them down. I cut this one from, this was four by six down to three by four. And we've got two of them. This was a smaller three by four and I cut that in half and then flagged both ends. You can't see this one as well. This was a picture of my life card that said, oh snap, I cut around that. And then I fussy cut around the little gingerbread guy and popped him to this. I finished this off with some star enamel dots and some circle ones and then baking therapy. And this is a little sticker as well here and here. And I thought that completed it really nicely. I'm really liking using these little strip stickers. They're so cute. The next page is toffee. And this is another zip strip from the mix-ins. And then we've got this icon-ish type pat pattern paper. This is a sticker right here with a little grid and cookies. We've got an oven mitt and a rolling pin and a little spatula. We've got a little gingerbread house, two little gingerbread guys here. Colorful frosting is from the zip strip. And then we've got two little frosting bags. And then again, small little pictures. So they're kind of a, a wide variety of photo mats. This one, of course, is in toffee dark. And these are three by three for all of these. And I really like that this matches the photo mats. The next page is Seabrook. Okay, so I did the photo mats on this one in scarlet. I cut this zip strip and then tore it. So it looked like we had some washi tape. I really like that concept. Um, this was a Picture My Life card. The other side had, I believe, something like this on it. Um, I can't find it. <laughs> I just set it aside someplace. I just wanted the lines to have a little bit of journaling, added some cookies here, some little, um, those would be shortbread, I believe, um, little dots and hearts, and then some little cookies up here, and then there's a little arrow down here, and I put crumbs. I thought that was just so cute. Love this mix-in paper. It works so well for this book. So well, just really colorful, bright, cheerful, nice, nice little book. So the last page, I have the paper that we used yesterday. It is the one with all the little words on it. I had cut this down, so I only had five and a half by 12. So I have five and a half by six here and five and a half by six here. And I used the little zip strip from the freshly baked um, paper to create the extra half an inch I needed. And then the base is, of course, scarlet dark. Photo mats on this are tar toffee dark, and then I use these little stickers. This is a picture of my life card, and then this is also a picture of my life card that I did cut and flag, and then I added just a couple little red dots to this one. So really, really cute, really fun and easy. I will have the, the cut file below, 
as well as all the sizes. So thank you so much for coming to play today. I hope you enjoy this book as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm sorry you didn't get to participate in the making part, but it is a, such a cute book, such a great idea for Christmas. And to get started early and to have that cut file to really get started early and easy is going to be, I think, a blessing to everyone. So definitely grab some of this paper while it's still available. Grab that cut file. Make these books. Pass them out to your family, friends, loved ones, whoever, you know, you needed to give a gift to. This is a really quick, simple, easy book for a gift as well as just for your coffee table. Enjoy, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those, and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.